those images that you wrote about in Haiti were just really powerful. And I'm hoping that maybe you could share a story or an experience or what the what craziest really experience for me in Haiti. Remember this rose when there was a truck driving by, like a, um, like a dump truck. And I remember thinking, wow, shit, that truck looks like it's full of dead bodies. Oh my God, that truck is piled high. Do you remember that when Tawanda was shooting it? And it, the moment that it would take for your brain to realize, you're like, oh my God, that is so weird. That thing almost looks like it's full of dead bodies. Oh God, that's piled high with dead bodies. And of course, the corpses, many of them, because they'd been crushed, were whole. You know, so it was so weird. It was just so weird. And there were so many experiences like that in Haiti. Or we were in this, um, there was an aftershock that was uh, 6.1 or 6.2. I think it was 6.2 originally, and then they downgraded to 6.1. And we were running out of our hotel room. CNN had, had gotten there uh, first with Anderson's team, so we were able to stake out a standing hotel. You know, it had giant cracks in it. So you're like, wow, we're so lucky we have a hotel, I think. <laughs> and and there was this aftershock, and you'd spend all day covering people, covering the stories of people who'd been crushed when the building fell on them. So you, you know what it looks like when the building falls. And we were sprinting out of this room, knowing full well, you know, because of an earthquake, I lived in California, starts like this, you know, and either it's going to stop or it's going to start going like this, right? And you have about two seconds, does this, and then all of a sudden it started doing this, and we're like, run. And we ran out of the room, and there was a guy who jumped off the balcony from the second floor because he knew, you know, if this was a real earthquake, he was not going to, he was not going to make it. You know, the only way to go was to jump, and he shattered his leg, and his head was bleeding, and he was lying there, and medical personnel who were staying in the hotel also came to help him. And we were just running out, and all I could think of was, I know what this looks like. I spent all day knowing what this looks like. When this all falls on you, I know what this looks like when you're crushed under a building. That's all I've done, all day, every day. This is what we're covering. And it was really uh, terrifying, you know, because I don't want to die on the job. Um, you know, it was really, that was, that was scary. It was really scary. And I remember, you know, you, so you'd have, start having all these strategies for rationalizing or try to deal rationally with something that's not rational. For example, at one point they said, we have enough rooms in the hotel where everybody could sleep by themselves. And I was like, oh, no, 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 Rose, I need to sleep with Rose, number one. <laughs> Rose is a light sleeper. I know that she'll wake me up when there's an earthquake because I would sleep through it. Mm -hmm. I know that if I were to die, there'd be someone who would tell the story of what I was doing, like mm -hmm. what corner of the hotel was I in? Where could I, my body be found? I mean, all those things became really important to me. All right, but they'd find us together, see? I mean, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> But you start thinking, or you'd say, what room should I be in? Should we be in on the first floor because you, maybe you have a chance to run out? Or third floor, because if you look at all the buildings, usually the floor, you know, the top floor had crushed everything else. So people who died really were in the bottom floor. You know, so you're trying to do the math on like, so what is the better place? I mean, it's ridiculous. But it was, it was that, dealing with that all day, and then also trying to cover these stories of these orphans who were clearly dying. Um, you know, it was really hard.